Hey, Marcus. Hey, John. Nice to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Wow. What a I love couch. this couch. Son. What a comfortable yeah, couch. Yeah, it's from FSI, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great couch. They always provide the best quality. They certainly do. All right, guys. So I have a picture for hearts to see. And if I could just get Marcus, we have some questions for him to answer about it. Is it when Marcus was a baby? He's so cute. <laughs> he was so cute. Look at this. Wow. What's going on there? Yep. What a day. <laughs> What a day. So that was when, yeah, it was sold do out. Yeah, do you remember what match this was? Mm, no. Probably could have been a World Cup qualifier. We look good. Or is it a U.S. Cup? Oh, wait, is this Saudi Arabia? That looks like it's away at Saudi Arabia. Do you know what it is? I, I don't. I think it's away at Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it is. Yeah? Yeah. Tell us about it. So, whew, we lost 3-0 that game. That was in the beginning stages of us actually trying to, I guess, find our identity, you know, moving forward as a, as a nation. And, uh, you know, new manager on board and, you know, with Bora Milutinovic and uh, just, it was a difficult game. Great players, obviously, quality, some quality there. Chris Henderson, who's at, you know, Inter Miami now as a sporting director there. Tab Ramos, my friend from Kearney. Bruce Murray, a Clemson guy. Eola, Wegerly, gosh, he goes all the way down. Fernando, Mike Lapper, Hugo Perez, Cello. Brian Quinn, Aiden Quinn's dad, you know, played. So uh, great memories. And it's always good to have a good, comfortable couch to sit here and talk about this game and these memories. <laughs> Love the couch at FSI. Thanks so much for everything you do for our club. Hey, that's great. Guys. What? Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, what? Hey, hey. What was your favorite kit during your time with the national team? Any kit that wasn't like a baseball kit and it was short sleeves <laughs> down to here. That, like, for some reason, everything was massive and you big. You have to on like the us. denim one, though. Yeah, the denim, denim one was, one great. was interesting. It's, it's definitely become a hot ticket item, you know, online trying to get that one. I still have my number six denim one, which I love. Um, but at the time, it was. Wow. We were, we were like, I remember Alan Rothenberg, we were like, really, Alan? Who's going to wear this? You know? And he was like, it's not real denim, Harksy. Like, I know, or but... You would hope so. Yeah, we're going to sweat a lot. Yeah, could you imagine? Yeah, it's going to be hot. What was the transition like from training with your club to training with the national team during international windows? Wow, just, uh, just excitement. I mean, the club is fantastic every day, but excitement to get in with your friends again and just high-level players. I mean, really just... All of our training sessions were very intense and it was just a, it was a great moment for us because, you know, as we qualified for 1990 World Cup, um, there was a lot of momentum, you know, start growing behind the men's game. And it was the first time we'd been back to the world stage in 40 years since 1950, where we beat England. Just want to get that in. <laughs> um, but it was more about like, how do we grow this and, and push it forward? And so it was really exciting to get in with the team. So from that, what did it mean to you to represent the United States on the international stage? Biggest honor in the world. I mean, you, you put, put on that jersey and, you know, it's like representing at the Olympics too in 88 in Seoul, Korea. And when you get a chance to put that jersey on, every chance, you don't take it for granted. You never take it for granted. You always know that there's somebody else that, you know, wants to be in that jersey. There's somebody else fighting to get in there. So you want to make sure that you're the best you can be when you put the jersey on. So were there any emotional conflicts knowing that you had Scottish heritage? Uh, for my mom and dad, yeah. it was. Yeah, <laughs> Not I get for it. Me. Um, no, for me, I was more, you know, raised in Kearney, New Jersey, and, you know, grew up with a lot of Scottish influences in, in that town, Scottish, English, and Irish, and obviously followed the Scottish national team. But I've always wanted to play for the U.S., and uh, I think it was always like a kind of chip on my shoulder of like, I want this game to make it in this country, and so let, let's represent our country the best we can. So, what was something that people should know about this team? that they don't know? That we had no fear. Even though we might have been inferior to some of the nations around the world, that we always had this kind of advantage that other teams didn't have, that we had no fear. We wanted to play against everybody all the time. And there was, there was never a team that we would back down from. And uh, special group, special time. All good, sit. <laughs>